Have you ever been in a toxic relationship? Have you ever had to walk away from a toxic relationship? And how long did it take you to find out that you were actually in a toxic relationship? And when you found out you were in a toxic relationship, how long did you stay after you found out? And if you walked away, did you return back to that toxic relationship? Hi, you're live with Lady Charmaine. What's your name? Where are you calling from? Hi, Lady Charmaine. This is Pamela Garrison, and I'm calling from Modesto, California. Hey, Miss Pamela. How are you? I had to come on the line on that. <laughs> well, thank you for calling in. <laughs> oh, my God. Because when, you know, when you're in there saying, yeah, you can't go anywhere. Mm -hmm. See, mine used to check. If you got ready to leave, he would check the mileage on the car to see Ooh. what the mileage was yep. at. Yep. And see how many miles you, you know, you travel. Or if you went to work and, you know, it, how long is your commute? It should take you 30 minutes to get home. Yes, Don't let it be a wreck or a detour because you five minutes late. So if you five minutes late, you have to be doing something or somebody. So wow. <laughs> In five minutes. <laughs> it, yeah, yeah them, them, them five minutes. Yeah. And then... You know, when you were talking about the sexual part of it all, it is, you know, and as a female, and I'm going to keep it very real, mm -hmm. it was a very real thing. It's like, okay, so that was underwear check. You know, why is, it, why is there extra moisture going on? No, that's in real. Fact, she right. It's, it's, a, it's a vagina. It's, you know, go do, <laughs> get some education on that. But <laughs> it was walking on eggshells. So, yeah. yes, I lived that life. And, you know, the name calling. But a lot of people go, why didn't you just leave? See, I didn't even know I was in danger. Right. That part. Mm -hmm. I didn't know I was in danger till somebody brought it to my attention. Wow. And they said, you know, you, you're in danger. I said, no, I'm not. And I still didn't want to hear. Mm -hmm. I didn't want to hear. It's like, no, I'm not. But they saw an altercation on my job in the parking lot. Mm. I was embarrassed. Mm. But I didn't know I was in danger. Mm -hmm. I said, oh, he's crazy, but he's not that crazy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right. He's not that kind of crazy. Mm -hmm. He's not going to hurt me. Right. You know, and then, you know, my revelation hit when my son got old enough to say, you know, I didn't realize them no eyes was watching. Yeah. And that day he said, when I'm old enough, I'm going to hurt my dad. And see, that's when things clicked for me. Wow. Because he was like, because if he hit my mom or try to fight her one more time and he was just waiting to get bigger wow. so he can take care of the situation and then I was like oh no mm -hmm. oh, oh, now mm -hmm. now my eyes are like oh no like what's no, no, happening no. yeah we got to change this right because I don't want my son to grow up trying to protect me right and that's a whole bad situation mm -hmm. and then i had just gave birth to my daughter mm -hmm. and i was like and i really don't want this to be the example of come what on. she think love is come on right. mm -hmm. so right. i had to make changes for them but for mostly i had to acknowledge my own mess mm -hmm. come on come and on realize you in this situation and you got to get yourself out of it and one of the things you were saying about Tell people now, if you planning on leaving, and if you got a real fool in your house, or you got to make a strategic plan. You don't oh, just yeah. walk out the door. You show, that's right. You're right. It's a strategic plan. Right. And you don't have to tell everybody your business, but you better find that one somebody that knows all your business. Mm, okay. They can let so you hit dip you out. strategically mm -hmm. move, because it's a process, mm -hmm. and you can't let the left hand know what the right hand is doing. Mm -hmm. I'm just saying. So Ooh. when you ready to go... <laughs> You got to plan right. your escape. Right. Because when you live with that walking on eggshells for all of those years, you're going to find yourself still jumping. Right. And then like my sister was saying, oh, you're always watching the clock. How much time I got? Mm -hmm. you forget you free. Wow. <laughs> yep. Yes, ma'am. Yeah. You forget you are free. And you trip so. off how much it impacts you. You don't even realize it's impacting you like that until you're free. Yes. Yeah, mm, Pamela, thank yeah. you so much for calling in and sharing you are, the story. Welcome. Thank you. You're welcome. And have yeah. a blessed day. Yes, you got to. Thank you. Bye bye. You know. Hi, you live with Lady Charmaine. What's your name? Where are you calling from? Sacramento. This is LaShawn. Hi, LaShawn. Sacramento. Hello. Hi. I wanted to touch on them basis because I was in a toxic relationship for 10 plus years. Mm, okay. It was a very abusive very controlling, very um, possessive, obsessive, and I understood what she said about 
wherever you went, you know, he had to control it, he had to be there. He had to make sure because of his insecurities that what I was doing, mm -hmm. where if somebody was talking about or had something to say, because it's very paranoid. Well, better, sis, can you do me a favor? Since, since you have some experience in this, and there may be some listeners right now listening, can you give at least two or three things to look out for? when you're in a toxic relationship that somebody listening right now may not even realize? If that person doesn't give you space mm -hmm. and they want to keep up with you everywhere you go, everything you do, they're constantly calling you, they're constantly, you know, want to know what you're doing, where you at, who you with. Yeah. That's one <clears throat> sign mm -hmm. of control. When a person is more concerned about what you're doing and they want to allow you to just be you and have your own personal space to do you, mm -hmm. they're always putting you down, mm -hmm. they're always making you feel less than, mm -hmm. that's because they want to break you down so they can control you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's when always making excuses why they got to be with you. They always got to be with you no matter where you go, what you're doing. Mm -hmm. They want to control your finances. They want to control everything about you. Mm. Because they're struggling with inadequacies. I don't know. Maybe that was done to them when right. they were younger. But they're definitely a sign that you got to follow your inner, you know, yeah. that inner voice and right. let you know something ain't right. You got to mm -hmm. follow your instincts because mm -hmm. your instincts would never leave you wrong. Right, right. Thank you so much for this platform. Thank you, ladies, for being on the air and talking about some <laughs> Good Thank you. you know you've been doing it, girl. <laughs> Thank you. All Thank right. you. Be Thank you for listening. Thank you so much. You too. Bye bye. Do you remember several years ago when I, on the show right here, and we were talking about domestic violence, and the young lady ended up moving to I think she ended up moving to Texas. She yep. was listening to our Texas, show yep. and ended up leaving Got her up out of there, leaving her boyfriend listening to our show. I yeah. cried. I mean, just yeah. to know that the show had helped somebody to pack up and move out of California from listening to this show. Because sometimes people may not necessarily say anything. There's somebody listening right now under the sound of our voice. And they're like, oh, my God, that's me. Uh -huh. oh, oh, my goodness. That's, I had no idea I was in that relationship. And when that young lady inboxed me to let me know that he had taken her phone and inboxed me from somebody else's Facebook account to let me know that he was abusive to her oh, and called a U, what she called, a, what is a U-Haul and packed up her stuff. My show was on a Monday and by Saturday she was, was in Texas. Yep. And by Saturday yep. she was gone. Yep. So you never know when somebody calls in or whatever topic it is that's going to help somebody and save somebody's life. This Hi, you're live with Lady Charmaine. What's your name? Where are you calling from? This is JJ, and I'm calling from Sacramento. Hello. Hello. How are both you ladies today? Good, Fine. and you? Hi. Uh, you might think this is a little bit funny, but my first marriage, mm -hmm. I woke up and found out that I had married my mother. And my relationship between my mother and I was toxic. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. oh. When she swung and hit me, Dead in the face. Oh, I took a, two bent wood chairs and I broke him on, on his back. And I walked out of that house with the temperature down to 18 degrees mm. in December in Washington State. And I walked two miles to a family to help me. And I never went back. Oh, wow. And then the second time I got married was over 10 years later mm -hmm. think that I was married to a man that loved me mm -hmm. and found out that he had two children that he never told me about, nor was he planning to stay with me when he gave me an, uh, a proposition that I could have a boyfriend and he could have a girlfriend and we could stay married. Mm -hmm. I knew it was time for me oh. to go. Wow. Yeah, I think so, too. That was a good yeah. decision. You're a strong <laughs> sister, though. You're like, look, th that's enough. I'm gone. I'm out. Hi, you like with Lady Charmaine. What's your name where you're calling from? Hi, Lady Charmaine. My name is Stacy. Hi, Stacy. I'm Hi, I'm calling from Rancho Cordova. Um, you know, her, uh, and I do apologize. I just got in my car and turned it on, and you were talking about toxic relationships. Mm -hmm. And how she was saying, if you don't have God with you, mm -hmm. sometimes you won't even know. Mm -hmm. Because I had got back with my husband after many years. 
And so my daughter wanted to see him and this and that and the other. But he used to really talk real crazy to me. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Real verbally abused me after so many years of separation. But just like, um, and I apologize, I don't know your name, the Marie. other panelist. Yeah. Marie. Yeah. But you know, when you said God started with villain things. Girl, oh, girl. Girl, I didn't, have to, I didn't have to go off. I didn't have to right. cuss. I tell you, I prayed him out, girl. One morning I woke up and he was gone. I was like, <laughs> That's real life. That's real life. Yes. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Because I know God, that God brought him here for a short period of time. He was here with me for three years. He was great with my grandbaby. Never raised his daughter. But he's the great, best grandpa in the world. But, baby, that verbal abuse, mm. oh, my God, mm -hmm. I couldn't take it. Mm. And I just didn't say nothing. First, we was going at it. But then I said, you know what, Stacey? Uh-uh. Don't do it. I just shut down and just let him do what he had to do, girl. And I woke up one morning, and I just prayed him out. Prayed him out, girl. I woke up one morning, he was gone. Uh -huh. <laughs> yep. Say, praise the Lord. <laughs> that day yep. I did, girl. I thank him every day for that. But he had his... He had his reason for there. He did mm -hmm. great grandpa, but husband, uh oh. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> no. Well, no, but I just wanted you, to throw Stacey. that in there because God is so good. Yes, ma'am. Amen. Yes, he is all the time. Thank you so and much, Stacey, for sharing your story. No problem. My pleasure. I love your show. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> bye bye. Thank you. Once you bye -bye. stop feeding that energy, once you stop feeding that energy, when they come for you like that mm -hmm. and you just fold your arms and be like, you. <laughs> but you know who we haven't heard from? A man, a man who knew he was in a toxic relationship. Yeah. How did you know you were in a toxic relationship and how did you get out? Because women, you know, we'll tell we were in a toxic relationship. Do men actually acknowledge that they were in a toxic relationship with a woman? That's a good question. That's a really good question. Right. Hi, you're live with Lady Charmaine. What's your name we're calling from? Uh, I'm not going to give up my name. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The show is real heavy. You know, I listen to you all the time. Thank you. Uh, so, um, anyway, I just want to put a twist on the game. Uh, oh, my God, I can't believe I'm on the radio saying this. Okay. But I know a lot of people recognize my voice. I, I had a really good woman in my life, didn't recognize her in the beginning. Mm -hmm. uh, did a lot of things to run her away from me. Mm -hmm. And when I recognized she wasn't going nowhere, I was like, wow, you know, let me, let me check this out. Best woman I've ever had, real talk. Uh, I was out there in the streets doing my thing, you know, living life. Everything's good for me, you know. And I cared about them, but, you know, I wasn't in love with nobody. But hey, that kind of stuff, you know. Mm -hmm. I was out there in the streets. Mm -hmm. I woke up one day at 50 years old, and I don't know what happened. My, my grandma raised me in church and all that stuff, but I woke up one day, and I had a whole different perspective about life. Mm -hmm. All that, I did that in the beginning. Mm hmm and I try to do the best I can, you know, keep everything right and everything, you know. I started recognizing her worth as a woman, a great woman. Mm -hmm. well, we was off and on, off and on, try to do my thing, keep everything straight with us, you know. Mm -hmm. And anyway, we get back together, and we got this nice place and all the stuff. And I came home one day from work. Mm -hmm. Well, at work, I'm 10, 12 hours a day. Mm -hmm. I come home, the whole house was gone. <laughs> And at first, I thought I got robbed. I was like, what the hell? Uh, excuse my friend. Uh -huh. And I looked over in the corner. I saw the wire screen. I said, oh, no, this ain't no robbery. I mean, she took everything oh, mm. up and gone. And, 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 you know, and I thought we was better than that. You know, I mm. said again, you know, I did some things in the beginning of our relationship. Mm -hmm. And I apologized to her as a man. And I tried to show everything I could because, you know, my sincerity was there. Mm -hmm. And to this day, now I was back in November of last year, mm -hmm. and to this day, I miss that woman. I recognize my wrong, and I've accepted that as a man. Mm -hmm. I did her bad in the beginning, but in the end, I truly loved her, mm -hmm. truly on her team. And, you know, they say I got played, I got used, all my homies, all that stuff. But, mm -hmm. you know, I don't care what they had to say. Right. As long as I felt that woman, mm -hmm. and to this day, I still do.